Hi, uh, in today's program we are going to just check that how we can make a frame using the J frame from the swing package. So we are going to import the swing package, we will say import java x dot swing dot asterisk. Next we will make a class called as the frame demo. Now see whenever you are going to make a frame inside the java it can be made in two forms. Uh, one is either you go and extend the jframe class or you can make an instance of the jframe inside your uh, user defined class. So let's make a user um, friendly class and we will also go for the creating of the instance of the jframe. So here we write jframe let's say I write it like fr and put a constructor of frame demo. In the frame demo constructor you are going to initialize your frame uh, say fr is equal to new j frame. Put the value. Now this parameter that you are providing to the constructor of the j frame would be something like text value that will come in the title bar of your frame. So let's write it like my frame. No, I'm not writing up any more methods over here. I'll just go and make a main class by saying public static void main string arguments. Now in this frame, uh, if, if you go for this frame, this instance would be created as soon as you create the instance for your frame demo class. Frame demo obj is equal to new frame demo. Now uh, my frame object would be created because I am declaring up a variable for the jframe and initializing it up. Now you cannot see this frame um, by default. So what you need to do is you need to go and write your variable dot set visible method and set visible method is going to take a boolean parameter that is true because by default it is false so you set it to true to see the va the frame on your screen. So I'll just save this and let's execute this much program only first of all. So I'll go for the folder java c frame demo and execute it. So execution will be for the main class as we all know. Now by default if you see my screen you will not find the frame here at the top it is showing this frame. I'll just slightly drag it down and you can see the size of the frame. It is 0, 0. So this is the default size of your frame which is created using the Java swing package and the jframe class. Now there are few properties by default which this uh, frame is possessing. One is it is having a 0 size. Second, this window is not having any sort of uh, getting free from the memory. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close it and you will find that the program does not exit in your console. So you press a control C and the program exits. So what you are going to do is you are going to just put up some uh, changes in the default behavior like writing up set size. Right so once you give set size you can put it the x and the y. So these are the pixel 200 by 200. Second I say the default behavior the default behavior of the frame on closing should be exiting the program. So I'll say set default close operation. And you will put a constant over here jframe dot exit underscore on underscore close. Since this is a constant value, this is an int value, a constant value you have to write it in uppercase. Here you can also write hide on close, exit on close and do nothing. So when you write exit on close means the complete application will be exited. So if I save this, let me compile it up. Right. So compile, now execution and see by default it will be created on the left side top. So you have to just drag it down and see this is my frame. Now if I go and close it, you can see the program is exited from your console also. Right. This you can try because uh, here you cannot see like whether I'm pressing the control C or not. So you have to try this operation on your machine. Now one more thing over here is 
we can set the location also for your frame so I'll say set location and location will also be given in two int parameter I'll say create your frame at the location of 100 by 100 so left top is considered as 0 by 0 and then left side the horizontal it is considered as the x-axis and vertical it is considered as a y-axis so you leave 100 by 100 pixels and the cross point where it, where we get that coordinates from there it is going to create a frame of 200 by 200 pixel size right so if I go and compile it up so now you will see this frame created on the 100 by 100 coordinate right so you can drag it now let's suppose if you do not want uh, the feature of dragging in your frame so what you can do is you have the operation again fr dot set resizable now this is something which is by default true so what you will do is you will just make it false that it should not be resized so compile it up So if I try to just drag it, I cannot drag it and here also you can see if I'm trying to click it, this is not enabled because the resizable is set as false. So this is how you can make a very basic frame. In the next video, we will see that how I can create multiple number of the frames and connect it with uh, creating up some buttons like next and the previous. Thanks everyone. Bye.